In this video, I will split the Windows image install.wim file into multiple files so that I can use it in FAT32 USB drive. I'm starting this video from a GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video and I will leave the URL in the description down below. And first I will be demonstrating the problem and for that I will go to my downloads folder. Here I have my Windows image file. As you can see the file is 5 GB and if I try to move this file to the USB drive I get this message saying that this file is too big for the file system. So one way how to solve this problem is to split this large single file into multiple smaller ones. And for that I will be using the PowerShell command that I have here in the GitHub page called split windows image. And for this command to work we need to specify the location where we have our image. In my case it's my Q drive and then downloads folder. After that we need to specify the location where we want to put the smaller files that this command will be creating. After that we need to specify what size of smaller files we want. So in this case I'm using one gigabyte. So basically I will be splitting that single file into one gigabyte smaller files. And then also I'm using a parameter to check for integrity. This will check if the Windows image didn't get corrupted. And now to execute this snippet I will click on the button right here to copy it. And then I will run my terminal as administrator. In here I will insert the snippet from the GitHub page, press enter, and now we need to wait a bit. And it seems that the command was executed successfully, so if I go to my downloads folder now, you can see that now I have multiple files in here. I have the original Windows image and also I have the smaller files in here. And to test if the image is still working, I will select all of the files except for the original one. Then I will right click and click on copy. Then I will go to the USB drive, sources folder and I will place the files in this folder. Let's wait for it to copy. And it's done. Now that I have my Windows image inside of my USB drive, I want to see if the Windows installation still works. And for that I will go to my VMware workstation where I have this empty virtual machine. So to test the Windows installation I need to connect the USB drive to this virtual machine and then restart the virtual machine so that it boots from the USB drive. So first to connect the USB drive I will go to VM, removable devices, select the device that I want to connect and click on connect. Now that I have the USB drive connected to this virtual machine I will just restart it. And now we need to wait a bit and see if the Windows installation starts successfully. And as you can see the Windows installation started successfully, that means that the Windows image that I have in my USB drive is working just fine. And I will not be waiting for it to finish because in this video it's pointless. So that's it for this one, like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and see you in the next one.